What's going on guys and welcome back to Crispy EDC. Got a package here in the mail. Gonna open her up. Uh, I gotta be honest, I did fondle her a little bit. I gave her the old Terry stop, the pat down. You know, uh, just to see what was going on in there and I felt some things that, I don't know. There's some extra stuff in here I think. You know, some goodies maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, get out of here. Anything else in there? Uh oh, 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 oh. Anything else? Nothing else? Frisbee that. Oh, Ivory, sorry. I hit one. Uh, so, we have a little peasant knife. Uh, so, I guess it's like a keychain version. Uh, we'll see what that's all about. Ooh, giving away all my information here. Oh, no, no, no. I wonder if I can edit that out. Well, we're going to have to. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, just information, bill, pretty much, you know. So what do you have here? Ooh, a little freebie. A little pen, copper accents. That's nice. Um, ooh. Another one, so we'll probably give one of these away, and we'll, you know, you know me and copper. It's not real copper, but still, it's it's like a rose gold. It's more that pinkish color, but we like it. We like it. Okay, little slip here, handmade looks like. Well, that's tight. That's gonna take some working in, I think. Okay, and we have the peasant knife pamphlet. Available only to first-class peasants. Are you good enough? Well, I assure you. I'll show you my bank account. <laughs> uh, so, there's, oh, there's... I hate getting the shadow of my camera in there. If you want to pause, read, do all that. It's like, uh... Was this, like, warranty information? Yeah. Uh, there you go. Pause, read, do your thing. Um... Yeah, so let's take this out of the package. Hey, Ivory, what's up? What are you doing? She, she jumped up on the couch that's next to me. She's staring at me. All right. Ooh. So this is like a friction folder. I've been warned that I, it, it can be uh, pretty slicey and to make sure that you have a good grip on it. <laughs> oh, she's, she's greased up. Uh, let me, hold on a sec. I have a rag here. Yeah. We're going to have to clean that up a little bit. So, honestly, this isn't the typical knife that I would probably carry. This is probably going to be like a package opener, letter opener kind of deal. Uh, this whole friction business makes me a little nervous. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but I feel like if you have a real good grip on there, that's not really going to go anywhere. It's pretty sturdy. And there is a little bit of friction there. So when you squeeze the handle, it kind of gives it a more, even more friction. And when you let go of the handles, it becomes a lot more loose. Interesting. Very interesting. I didn't expect that, actually. So, like, the scale. Am I on camera there? There's a lot of flex to it. Or the... Can I show this properly? So they wiggle around. And when you lock the blade in there and everything's tight, it becomes much more secure. Nothing's moving. And you can get a good grip on it. I believe this is a carbon steel. I'm not sure. I probably should have looked a little more information up on this guy, but like a, we're just doing an unboxing. We're not doing reviews anymore. I guess I should say who it's from. It's from Sford. Sford. Am I saying that right? <laughs> it sounds, it's, it's funny to say. Sport. The owner of this company also owns Puma Knives, which is another Canadian knife shop. I think they're more like um, peasant knives and, uh, oh my goodness, I'm drawing a blank right now. <laughs> what's, what's a non-flipper knife? A knife that doesn't flip. Oh my God. And is this really happening right now? I'm that tired. Wow. A non-folding knife. There we go. <laughs> I, f 
graphics played. Holy crap. Wow. Guys, it's been a long week. I got to be honest. Uh, I didn't even want to make this video. I didn't think I was up for it. And that should just go to show you. My mind is like somewhere else right now. Um, but yeah, after that debacle, uh, I guess we'll end this video. <laughs> uh, pretty nice. I like it. It's definitely going to be like a mail, mail opener, box opener at home, package opener. Maybe I'll just make this like the unboxing knife. Because I'm always like, which knife should I choose? Maybe we'll just make this it. It's nice and small, nice and slicey. That feels sharp. Ooh. I don't have any paper to fire and do a cut test. Do I have anything? I don't want to cut that. That's a, that's a handwritten letter. Uh, the papers just fly across the room. It's crazy. I have magic elves in, in here. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, that's not a good showing. It's a really small blade, so you gotta you gotta work with me here. <laughs> that, we're we're just not gonna count that first cut at all. It could it could use a little stropping probably. Yeah, a little stropping, she'll be good. I'm not too worried or concerned about that. So there it is. Now that I've messed this video up thoroughly. Cutting debacles and fixed blade debacles, and it is what it is. <laughs> you already know the deal. Until next time, live long and ooh, see EDC on. Peace.